I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Welcome back for race number three at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. The carded off time is 13.35 and that's the time you'll need to get your pick six bets on. But before we go any further, we do have a rerun of the odds on favourite Gorgeous Girl. And then we have the trainer Tony Rivelin to give us some comments to back up and give us some evidence on what she's showing back home. As they come to the 300, sweeter than honey. Gorgeous girl tries to apply pressure. 200 to go, and Tamira still has a length and a half to spare. Gorgeous girl on the inside, sweeter than honey. Tamira's trying to pull out a bit more the last hundred, and it's Tamira's going to last long enough for the victory by a half. Gorgeous girl in second, sweeter than honey, and Tom Bentley in behind these. Yeah, Longstreet's improving. She was three and a half lengths behind them last time. She ran fifth. Um, she's just one of these fillies that's taking a while for the penny to drop. Um, yeah, she's, she's obviously a moderate filly, but um, I do think she's got a win or two in, in her. And um, I'm expecting her to run at the back end of the quartet. So I would include her in the back end of the quartet. Yeah, gorgeous girl. Ran a, improving every start. Um, Warren ran a very good race last time. Um, the pace was a little slow. Had there been a good pace, I think she would have most probably beaten the favourite. So um, she's very well in herself, and um, I'm fairly bullish that she's going to be the horse to beat. Um, you know, there's one or two there with a bit of form. There are one or two with a little form, but um, and I haven't studied it carefully yet, but I, I feel she's most probably the filly to beat in that race. Well, there we have the confidence that we wanted from trainer Tony Riverland about number seven, Gorgeous Girl, the daughter of William Longsword. Record-seeking Richard Faree with those golden hands. He's an absolute magician. He just knows how to get the best out of an animal. And he takes the ride on Gorgeous Girl, obviously trying to break the records and go for that one million rand quite, quite, quite cut and get that million rand there. And when you look at this horse, Gorgeous Girl Devon, on the right track, they put cheap pieces on last time out. And barring number eight, Floral Fantasy, I think she's a banker. 100% in full agreement with you, Sheldon. Uh, this is my best bet on the cards. We'll see later when uh, we have that segment of the show. I've selected this as my best bet. And I remember that last run uh, clearly because my best bet on that day was Tamiris. And this horse was eating up the ground into the closing stages. So we were just hanging on there for victory. We went for Tamiris. And I'm going to stick with that form line. And uh, like you said, Richard Furry, <clears throat> he's riding exceptionally well. He's at the top of his game. I think this one could take an absolute power of beating here. So what Devon and I are saying is that number seven, Gorgeous Girl, we're going to take our chances. We're not going to look any further. Banker number seven, Gorgeous Girl. And then for me, number eight, Floral Fantasy, back on the turf. That'll be the exactor. But for the punters out there, number seven, Gorgeous Girl, Tony Riverland and Richard Faree. And this will be racing for Messrs. Lali, Bloomberg, De Reville. I think they'll be in the winner's enclosure. Uh, my name's Danny De Liberto founder of Ladles of Love, it was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.